what's going on guys this is virus brandon from the spigot minecraft community and i'm here to show you an updated demonstration for my bottomless chest inventory management software as you can see i have some stuff in the chest here i've got a highly enchanted uh, crazily enchanted diamond chest plate and diamond sword i also have enchanted books i've got written books that for the record it uh, stores everything that i've written in there Basically, this book is me begging you to buy my software. It's your choice. Anyway, the reason why you should buy the software is because regular Minecraft chests, for a single chest and a double chest, store 27 and 54 stacks of items, respectively. With a bottomless chest, you have access to up to 7,000 slots for your items. So, 7,000 stacks of items. And you can access those items by using the scroll bars as you can see right here. Bottomless Chess has a total of five user interfaces from the, the uh, confirmation window so that if you want to empty your trash you can do that there. Your trash bin stores all of your items that you decide to discard and if you accidentally threw something in the trash that you didn't want to get rid of click on it and it'll go right back into your chest. You have the admin interface which controls file read and write you can t you, you have three options for the t for the action bar toggling. You can have a solid display where it never goes away. You can have temporary display so it goes away after a few seconds, and then you can just disable it altogether. The next feature is auto auto item pickup. So if I mine something or if I pick something up, there are three options. You can either disable it, which is the default. You can pick up items always, or you can pick up the items and put it automatically into your chest when your inventory down here is full. The next option is per world items, which there are two options, universal items or per world items. How that works is when you have universal items, all the items in your chest are available to you. However, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that really quick. Uh, let, me, let me go ahead and turn that on here. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiverse TP to uh, world nether. All right, hopefully I don't die. Good, I'm still here. So these items are only available in, in the world, regular world. So I'm going to put that right there, and I'm going to multiverse TP back to world. And just look back up in the sky, because I like darkness. All right, now you can see that these items are available because I'm in world, and this is no longer available because it is only allowed in world nether. So I changed that back to... Um, to uh, universal items, so all the items are now available as they should be. Next item is English, or excuse me, language translation. My default downloads comes with English and French, but if you are able to provide me with more languages, that would be fantastic. So essentially, because I have those two two uh, language files in the download or in the language folders under bottomless chest, you can basically click on the book to. Uh, change languages while the software is going. You don't have to go into a config and change the language and reload the software. All you got to do is click on it and all the languages change right before your eyes without having to reload anything. Next option is you can enable or disable the trash bin so that when you throw something away you can't get it back out. It just is it, it's, it's destroyed right away. Uh, once you re-enable the trash bin, uh, the item's not in there. That's because you threw it away and the item is destroyed immediately when the trash bin is disabled. When the, when the trash bin is enabled, it holds the item in the trash bin, so if you accidentally discarded it, you can send it back to your, your chest without any problem. The last thing I want to show you guys today is the left-click, right-click, and shift-click shortcuts. Left-click makes the chest scroll one row, right-click six rows, and shift-click is a hundred rows. You can go into the admin menu and customize your scroll bar so that if you want if you want left click to scroll five rows, see I just changed that from that menu and it now scrolls five rows. You can change any of those actions to scroll anywhere between one and one hundred rows at a time. It just depends on whatever you want it to do. Everything is configurable inside of the game. The settings file that you'll find in the bottomless chest directory is a serialized binary file. Therefore, you cannot edit it by hand. 
by trying to do so, you got about a 99.9% .9 chance of breaking the settings file. So use this nifty little awesome looking menu right here in bottomless chest to do it in game. This has been Virus Brandon with another demonstration for Bottomless Chest. You can pick up this software on Spigot for, I think, pennies on the dollar, but um, it's a good piece of software. So if you haven't already, if you haven't already purchased it, give it a shot. I think you'll like it. Y'all have a good day, guys.